Daniel and Debbie are not the only ones to suffer a man's wrath. Janan has come clean to her mother, telling her she knew about the alcohol. She helped Debbie to break these rules, and she, has, she must be punished, punished the same. I don't know why the girls are much naughtier than the boys. The boys are more honest. Do you have something uh, less than them? No. So why you are you laughing now? No, I'm not laughing. Yes, you laughed uh, just a few seconds ago. You shouldn't. You should be ashamed, ashamed of yourself. Don't look me in the eye. Go to your bedroom, because I'm not satisfied with you. She also took my phone, but she's going to give it to me tomorrow when she, she gets took your phone? Why? Yeah. Because uh, uh, as a punishment, you know. That's not, it's got, oh my god, it wasn't your fault though. You know, um, I just didn't want to tell her because you said you're not going to get me in trouble. So I said no, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. I was surprised that. I know, no, happened. I didn't like, oh shit, yeah, I forgot. Because um, when we were talking at the school, um, she went, um, oh, you should have handed it over. And then, um, yeah, I said, oh, Janan told me to, but I said no. Like, I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even think that she'd do that. Bollocks, sorry. She told me she's not going to get me in trouble, but uh, it seems that I got in trouble, yeah. I trusted her, but, uh, you know, and she gave me a promise, yeah. Despite the tension, everyone needs to put on a brave face. They have a family commitment they can't avoid. of a man's is getting married and it would be an insult if the entire family didn't attend. It's a chance for Daniel and Debbie to redeem themselves and make a man proud. But Debbie is still sulking and for once isn't in the mood for a party. Everyone's making out like I'm doing some no, wrong. No. You think you haven't done anything wrong? No, not at all. I haven't. You haven't? No. The true uh, no, because I really don't want your opinion. It really doesn't care. Like, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to you, but, no. it, but it does to me. Well, because yeah, I have the your right opinion to matters to yourself. To tell you my opinion. You won't like the answer you get. Honestly, I'm in a really shit, crap mood. I really do not trust myself to be civil. I think, you know what the problem with you? What's that? Yes, that you don't have self-confidence at all. Oh, because no, I do. did until no, I came if here. if you do, you would listen to me and understand what I'm telling you. I have you. listened to if, you for the no, past no, hour you, not, you are always listening to yourself, which is, I'm 100% is wrong. Absolutely cool. I'll, wrong. I'll add that to the Absolutely list of everything wrong. else. That's wrong no, no, no. don't worry. I, I'm, I'm definite that days will prove that to you, that you are absolutely wrong. Yes, I am. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, you are. Oh, fuck yourself, yeah. I swear. Just literally get out my face. You've been swearing at me. Yes, I am. Just let go. No one has ever spoken to a man like this before. Honestly, I thought I treated her as if she was my own daughter. Honestly, I don't want her in my house. Honestly. So live alone. Find her a cave in some other place and live there. But in my house, I don't think my husband will accept this at all. At all, he will be very, very angry. Back at home, Aman has told her husband about Debbie's insulting behaviour. Debbie. He's called a family meeting. His son Mahmoud translates, and there's no mistaking his meaning. Daniel, uh, uh, we all do wrong, but the rude way that you're talking uh, to a man is unacceptable. 
في اعتذار منك لها ما هي مش رح تعتذر انت بدك تعتذر لها بالتعليمات اللي نحن عطينا وانت عم بتقول هي سينج ذا لاست ثينك هيز جوينغ تو سي تو ابلجايز تو ذا امام بيكوز ان اور كالتشرز ذس از ا فيري بيج وورد Debbie's usual reaction to a family argument is to stubbornly stand her ground and definitely never apologize. That's me shut down from here now. Nothing's going to change. Like it's been gone and we've messed up dad for years. Like I'm not comfortable staying in this house now and I'm not apologizing. I know she is not your mother but uh, you can't just feel that she's your mother and talk to her, sit with her, explain her what, how you feel and believe me you feel comfortable. As soon as someone says, well, you should change this, what I hear is, you know, that's wrong, that's bad. <laughs> and I, I just take it personally. <laughs> Like, being here it's just kind of made it even more, like, drummed into us that I'm not good enough. It's just so intense here. It's just too intense, and it's, like, obviously brought out the worst in us, to be honest.